Hello and welcome to Pilates. So this is a session I've recorded for the 21st of December, which is my son's birthday, and he's persuaded me to take the day off and play board games with him. So <laughs> I know where I'd part of it. Anyway, welcome. So we're going to start with a standing warm up and we're just going to take those feet hip width apart. Before we do anything, we're going to breathe out. And as we're breathing out, we're going to think about this long back, this spine, and we're going to imagine space opening up between each segment of it. And I'm going to get you to think about taking that breath in, squeezing the shoulders up towards the ears. And as your breath leaves the body as you breathe out just allow those shoulders to soften relax fall away from the shoulders so we're going to use these shoulder squeezes to release tension in those shoulders and as the shoulders fall just imagine that space opening up between each segment of the spine and when we're doing this we're looking out onto the horizon so that head is in a, a comfortable position. Our vision is straight ahead or slightly lower. And one more. Now we're gonna see if we can just allow those shoulders to slide. And we're gonna think about that neutral spine. We're gonna think about rocking that pelvis a little bit. So let's just get a little bit of movement in that pelvis. Just notice how we were standing. We may have been standing perfectly but we may have just let old habits just creep in for a few seconds. So let's make those rocking movements smaller and smaller till we arrive at that midpoint where we've got that natural curve in the base of the spine. And with this hand on the front of the body, somewhere between the belly button and the pubic bone, we're gonna see if we can tighten that belt all the way to notch 10, so it's tight and while we're doing that make sure we're not squeezing the bottom we're going to relax that belt hold so when we talk about tightening the belt we're sort of drawing these lower abdominals away from the waistband of the trousers so in that neutral spine position now we're going to take it to that 30 percent contraction we're going to relax those shoulders away from the ears now holding that belt like muscle, the, that abdominal bracing at 30%. Let's see if we can take that breath in through the nose as the shoulders come up and we're going to breathe out through the mouth. And the beauty of Pilates is you don't have to move and breathe at my rate. You can do it in your own time. So once you know what you're doing, you're going to just listen into that body and then carry on till I get you to do the next movement. Now we're going to relax those shoulders, let those arms hang. See if you can draw up, maybe even zip up. We're going to use some of that pelvic floor. So imagine that you've got a tight pair of jeans and I'm zipping up through that pelvic floor up to the belly button. And again, it's that 30% contraction. And then we're going to think about taking our side bend. So we're lengthening through that spine, lifting that rib cage up out of the hips. And it's that sideways movement. Just imagine there's no room in front of you. You've got your nose against the wall, so we can't lean forwards. And then when you try and lean backwards, there's a wall behind you. So the only place you've got to go is sideways. Lovely. Listening to that body, coming all the way up. And then we're going to see if we can just take the weight into the heels, into the balls of the feet, and just gradually make that rocking movement smaller and smaller till we arrive at that midpoint. And then we're going to see if we can just let those heels go. I actually prefer to do this with my feet a little bit wider. And if you have got a restricted space, <laughs> I should have warned you before we started moving. So just let those arms relax. Let that head relax, and we're just going to let that opposite heel move away from the floor. Good. So this is a really nice movement. This is just really nice just to get that tension out of the body. Start to warm up a little bit more. 
and then we're going to bring it back and let's see if we can just get a little bit of movement in the shoulders i'm predicting it being december the 21st it's going to be a little bit colder than uh, it was in june the 21st so the shortest day of the year today guys the shortest day which means it's only up from now the days are going to get lighter <laughs> Woohoo! okay just let those arms go so we're going to think about taking that prayer position now watch those shoulders watch that neutral spine so find that neutral spine tighten that belt so with his headlights on the hip bones they're shining on that wall in front of you we're just gonna like that russian doll we're going to twist that top half away from center back to center good okay so it's that gentle twist coming back to center now we're going to come back to center relax those arms now from this position we are going to see if we can take those arm floats leading with that thumb so notice what's happening here we've got that belt tightened we're looking out onto the horizon i'm not lifting my rib cage so we're keeping that steel thread between the base of the ribs and the top of the pelvis we're going to do three on one arm we're going to do three on the other arm and this is all about keeping that trunk really nice and stable getting the shoulder moved up isolating that arm movement good and then we're going to bring it down lovely let's get a roll of these shoulders and then we're going to take almost like a mini squat so we're keeping that nice strong back we're dropping that tailbone over the back of the heels so it's like a mini squat, like a mini squat. I can't squat too low at the moment, thanks to a touch rugby related injury. But I'm just gonna go as far as my body tells me, and that's the same for you now. I'm gonna tighten my belt. I'm gonna just lift this chest over those thighs. And I'm gonna let those arms swing. I'm gonna let that head go. Now remember that tail, tuck that tail between your knees push that tail imagine you're going to push that tail down towards the floor and then we're going to stack the spine we're going to stack the lower part of the spine first one at a time gradually coming all the way up now you can see i've got my knees bent you can straighten those knees at the end if you prefer or you can leave them bent and then let's lift this chest over again so we're just getting used to that little roll down movement now if this movement doesn't suit you we're just going to do some little squats until we've done three of these. Good. Tighten that belt. Roll up through that spine until we come all the way. Now we're going to look straight ahead, relax those shoulders. We're going to breathe in and we're going to breathe out. So we're going to take some circles with these arms. We're going to breathe in and we're going to breathe out and we're going to take one more on this side now remember we're drawing those hip bones together we've got that belt at 30 percent we are just listening to the shoulder just opening it up taking that circle a bit wider if we need to and all the while we can feel those feet relaxed secure on the floor now let's see if we can take both arms we're going to breathe in, breathe out. Now, if that's uncomfortable in the shoulders, mine was slightly uncomfortable. I'm going to bring my elbows a bit lower. So we're opening out this chest. Breathing in, breathing out. And now we're going to take it into this roll down. So I'm going to drop my chin to the chest. I'm going to draw that tummy button in. I'm going to lift that rib cage over that imaginary beach ball at my feet only as far as my back my hamstrings say i feel comfortable now at the bottom tighten that belt push that tailbone down towards the floor roll up through this spine excuse the dog barking it's the trouble with december there's amazon packages flying everywhere next door here okay block it out we're going to do the same roll down at the head of our mat while i move my computer 
Okay, so we should be able to see my map there. Alrighty, let's just move that a little bit. I've got it in the wrong place, chums. Just keep rolling down. Just keep rolling down. Good, there it is. Okay, I'll move to the uh, camera rather than the other way. So on that last roll down, okay, we're gonna see if we can bend the knees and we're gonna walk ourselves out into a kneeling position. So let's remember, let's have a revisit of the kneeling, four point kneeling position. If those elbows are bent, it becomes a very sort of shouldery, funny time. So let's straighten out those elbows. Let's look at that invisible line at the top of the fingertips. And let's make sure those palms are directly underneath the shoulders. We don't want them there. We want them here. And we're gonna open out the chest, knees in line with those hips. Now, let's find that neutral spine. Let's draw those shoulders away from the ears. And once we found that neutral spine, let's see if we can start to just take that cat stretch. So let's really get that movement in that lower back. Good. Take your awareness into that breathing. Tighten that belt as we breathe out. See if you can maintain that 30% contraction. We're gonna do about five or six of these. And then we're just gonna tuck that tail between the knees, sit back into child's pose, bring those elbows behind the knees. Good. You can take a little roll of those shoulders if you like. We're actually gonna do a little bit of a core challenge in a four point kneeling position. If that doesn't suit you, I'm gonna give you an alternative, okay? Because we can get into our prone position lying on the front. Now, what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna see if we can really draw that tummy button away from that imaginary campfire I've just lit beneath your belly button. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna see if we can just place a plate of frozen peas there. Now, I want you to not drop any of my peas, so there needs to be no movement in that trunk, and we're gonna see if we can push that big toe away as if you were pushing through wet sand. Oh, I think my peas are wobbling. So really draw that tummy button in, push those peas. <laughs> Don't push the peas anywhere, push that big toe. We're gonna do alternate. So really draw that tummy button in, keep those shoulders relaxed as you can. Good, now if you're finding that okay, we can push that opposite fingers, opposite toes away from center. Now as you come back, slide those shoulder blades down the back towards the bottom. Keep those long arms breathing out and we're breathing in. Now if we wanna take that challenge a little bit further, we can squeeze and bring it in, good. We can squeeze and bring it in further again. Now remember those headlights on the hip bones, they are shining on that mat below us and as we move away from center, we're gonna come into child pose, but those headlights just stay fixed on the mat. Now I push those arms away from center. I'm gonna then bring those elbows behind the knees. Ooh, good. Okay, so we're bringing in a bit of upper body strength there, which I do like to do. So, oh, I forgot to give you the alternative. So the alternative would be prone Okay, now we're gonna tilt this pelvis. So you say, how do you mean? So imagine, we're gonna sit up nice and tall. Imagine we're just pushing that imaginary tail you've got through your knees. So we're almost curving the base of the spine. At the same time, we're gonna tighten that belt, draw that tummy button towards the spine, and then we're gonna roll down onto your mat. We're gonna bend the knees there. Okay, protect that lower back. Now relax those shoulders into the mat, take those feet hip width apart, 
Find that neutral spine and let's see if we can do a little bit of abdominal work. So imagine when you're tightening your belt that you're drawing those hip bones together and then you're going to see if you can draw this pubic bone up towards the belly button. Let's see if we can come into tabletop. So we can do single leg tabletop if we want to work a little bit harder, keeping those knees hip width apart, balancing that glass of water on your shin bone, relaxing the shoulder blades, holding that neutral spine, we can come into double leg tabletop. Now I'm going to get you to imagine there's a 90 degree angle at this knee joint and whatever happens you're not going to lose that angle so we're just going to see if we can drop that heel towards the floor, bring it back up. Same on the other side. Now if we're working single leg, I'm going to show you what it looks like, we're breathing out, breathing in. Okay, if we are working double leg, it looks like this. Good. Now if you come into double leg and your back arches and you feel yourself straining, you need to come back to single leg where you will gradually increase that abdominal strength, that core strength, until you can do double leg. We're going to do 8 to 10 on the left leg, we're going to do 8 to 10 on the right. So when we've done the left, we're going to move into the right. Now, Imagine you've got a spirit level over your hip bones. Oh, I went all turned. So the red dot is in the middle. Now we want to keep that red dot firmly in the middle. Hello, Sam. <laughs> Avoid being licked on the nose by the dog. <laughs> and again, we're doing eight to 10 on this side. Now when we've done our eight to 10, we can either bring those knees in and just give the lower back a little bit of respite. Just hug those knees in if you need a rest. If you're okay, we're gonna float these arms up to the ceiling, hope you can see me, nice strong arms. And we're gonna just hold that neutral spine and we're gonna take those arm floats like we did in the warm up. So we're breathing out and in, good. So notice what happens, if you let those arms go too far, one of two things will happen. Your elbows will bend and you'll do that or your ribs will pop and that back will arch and your back will start to hurt. So keep drawing that tummy button in. Don't let those ribs pop. Use that core control. Then let's see if we can take that scissor switch midair. Good, we're gonna breathe out and in. If you wanna make this a bit more challenging, shoulder flexibility, turn the back of your hand towards the floor or your palm will be facing the knee. Good. Now we're gonna do a couple more of these, then we're gonna come back to center and now we're gonna hug those knees in. Now we're gonna hug those knees in, Sam. Good, okay. So now is a really good time to take those hip rolls. So we're gonna take one foot down, then the other. We're gonna walk the knees together and the feet together and we're just gonna take that breath out as we move away from center, breath in to return. Good, so these arms are quite supportive, shoulders relaxed. If we wanna make this a little bit more challenging for those core muscles, for that belt-like muscle to control, you can take the hands across the shoulders. If you feel out of control though, just bring those arms back and it just gives you that little bit of extra support. So everything comes from that belt-like muscle here. We're just tightening that belt, but really enjoying the relaxation that this move can give you. Make sure we're breathing out and breathing in. And then we're gonna see if we can bring those feet hip width apart. You might wanna just check that they're in line with those hip bones about roughly 12 o'clock. And I never do a session without this bridge. So we can take a couple of little pelvic tilts Find that neutral spine and tighten the belt. And when you feel ready, we're gonna tilt, squeeze those bottom muscles, peel that spine away from the mat. So we can take a little bit of time to get into this if you don't feel fully warmed up. Don't think, oh, I've gotta go straight into full range straight away. But make sure we're using this bottom hamstrings not pushing into the ribs and arching that lower back. So keep that connection between the base of the ribs and the top of the pelvis, good. 
So we're just gonna push into the heels, working those glutes, we're keeping those knees pointing up towards the ceiling. And again, we're gonna do about eight of these, okay? You can do more if you like, you can do a few less, but what I'm gonna try and do is just hold at the top for a little bit and take some arm circles. So when we've done our up and down, using that breathing so we can really come into our body thinking about that breath in to prepare that breath out as we perform the hardest part of the move. Now let's see as we breathe in if we can hold it up here. So take your awareness into that bottom, into the knees, see if we can float these arms. Now at any point you can come out of this. So if it gets too much for you to hold, come out, we will build that resilience. Now we are gonna see if we can allow palms facing each other, those arms to come around, back towards the knees, back to center. So we're gonna breathe out. As the arms come back in, the breath comes back in. Squeeze that bottom, guys. Breathing out and in. Good, we're gonna do two more if you can. Keep squeezing that bottom. Don't let it drop, try not to let it drop. Good, last one. And then we're gonna bring those arms down now, starting with that top of the spine, press each little segment one at a time till we come back to that neutral spine position. And we're gonna roll like a ball, just with that head back, just gently moving that lower back. As if you're a little beach ball and I'm rolling you back and forwards. Good. That's right, Sam. Superb. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is bring one knee down, then the other. We're gonna see if we can just come onto our side. So I'm gonna come onto my side. And today we're gonna do some clams. So I'm gonna take that 90 degree bend at the knee. I'm gonna make sure that my knees and my feet are sort of 90 degrees, but not there or there, we sort of want that nice long line. So heels, hip, shoulder. Good, you actually can't, I can see that you've got a little sort of dog ear in the corner there while he's actually trying to chew the devil out of the cuddly toy Santa. <laughs> There's the Santa. Right, now what we're gonna do is just tighten the belt, relax the shoulder, okay? So those hips are stacked and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take those clams so this is the muscle area that we're looking to work. Now some of you may remember us increasing the challenge and taking that ankle bone just above the knee and taking it here. Okay, I'm gonna just keep to the simple version but do the more challenging version if you like. You can use this arm for support but try not to let that shoulder get dragged. So keep sliding those shoulders or shoulder blade, should I say, down the back towards the bottom. So again, we're gonna do about eight to 10 of these. We're breathing out and in. If you feel you can do more, that is absolutely fine. If you feel you need to do less, that is fine too. Now, once we've done that, we're gonna slide this hand. I'm gonna roll up my mat or get my towel, okay, just to support my head, tighten that belt, and this arm is not here. It is around chest level. And as we open, this hip needs to stay just exactly where it was when we were static. Good, so this is this lovely open door exercise. It's that stretch for the chest, the front of the shoulders, and we're basically combating the postural issues of modern day living every time we do this. So it's a lovely movement, only as far as you feel comfortable, breathing out, breathing in. Don't worry if you can't quite follow the hand, let the hand and the arm go just as far as you feel comfortable with the neck. And then we're gonna bring it up. I am gonna just let that mat go. I'm gonna push myself up and we're gonna come into a sitting position, so a straddle position. So, sorry Sam. 
<laughs> this is the joy of doing it at home, isn't it? Now remember, you might need to sit on a towel or you might need to roll your mat up. Some of you might have a yoga blot, block, blot. All right, so what we're gonna do now, and again, if that's really challenging, to just take the legs into straddle. So we're gonna draw up, we're gonna zip up, relax the shoulders. Now this arm, we're just gonna allow, I'm gonna take it here so that you can see. We are gonna take a little mermaid type stretch. So we're just softening that supporting elbow. We're breathing out, breathing in, relaxing those shoulders, breathing out. Breathing in, good. Breathing out and in. So it's as if we're just allowing that beautiful stretch to come. You can feel all those muscles in the trunk just getting that lovely stretch down the side. And then we're going to come back to centre, roll those shoulders up and back. Now, we are now going to bring this leg this tight. We're gonna just take that 90 degree angle and we're gonna come back to those clams. So, I am going to stack my hips, make sure those heels are in line. I am gonna just tighten that belt. So imagine that someone's trying to post a piece of paper between your waist and the floor. Okay, I'm not convinced I'm in the right place there. No, let's just see. So if you can think about this ball and socket joint here, if you think about the ball inside the socket just rotating, so the muscles that we're using, so that sort of glute me, glute minimus, it, they're the little glutes. We don't want the big ones, so they're just those external rotators, and then we've just got to control that movement down. So I'm making my range deliberately smaller, but just find the range that works for you. Okay, good. So there's that breath out and that breath in. So when we've done our eight to 10 here, okay, we're just gonna relax it down. And I've done the same side, I've just realized. <laughs> I'll just move, I'll just move. Okay, let's make sure we do this side, shall we? I knew there was something wrong. So what we're gonna do, when you've done your eight on that side, Now, I'm gonna just move down my mat and just roll it up, good. Okay, so next I wanted to get closer to the dock. Breathe out, and we're gonna breathe in. Okay, so follow that on, just opening and controlling the shape, good. So think about flow. Think about allowing that arm to open, bringing it back. Good. And we're just going to take one more. We're going to come back and we're going to relax. Now I'm going to let this mat roll back out. I'm going to straighten my legs and I'm going to come over onto my front. I'm going to come over onto my front. So you might want that towel underneath that forehead. You might be okay without it. We are going to do some work for the upper back. We're gonna do some work for the lower back and then we're gonna stretch out. So let's just see if we can tighten that belt and we're gonna gently, gently squeeze those shoulder blades together. So we're taking that swan dive initial move, just squeezing the shoulder blades together. If you tend to do this with the elbows quite close to the body, see if we can create just a little bit of space at those armpits and really make those muscles work good. Now if you want to make this more challenging, keeping that bottom like jelly, we can just gently, gently lift that breastbone at the same time, but we don't want it to become a lower back exercise. So we just want it to be upper back, bottom like jelly, and again, eight to 10 of these. Now when we've done that, we're just gonna relax those shoulders. Now we're gonna activate this bottom. We're gonna see if we can lift that chest. Now if you wanna use those hands, just to bring a little bit more extension, but do not let that tummy down. 
So if in doubt, if you get any sciatic like pain, do not overextend that back. So we're just gonna use those back muscles, those bottom muscles, push those big toes towards the floor behind you. Good, we don't want the feet rising up. Excellent. And again, we're breathing out as we extend, breathing in to return, good. Breathing out, and we're breathing in. Lovely, we're gonna take one more or two more of these, however many you feel comfortable. Slowly lower it down, and then we are gonna squeeze alternate legs. So. If you're watching this video again and you were unable to do the kneeling, okay, four leg, four point kneeling movement at the start, this is what we're gonna do. This is swimming in a prone position. So keeping those hip, hips in contact with the floor, squeezing, I want you to imagine lengthening that leg away from center. Imagine you're trying to touch the wall behind you it's lengthening rather than lifting, really utilizing those bottom muscles, so squeeze from the hip. Nice straight leg, we're not bending at the knee. Nice relaxed shoulders, belt tight, good. And breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. And then we're going to just push ourselves up, back, into child's pose. Keeping that breath in, that breath out. And then we're going to slide one foot in front of the other. Now we want those feet roughly hip width apart. So we're gonna just see if we can take this hip flexor stretch here. Now see if you can avoid arching the back. If we can, keeping that nice strong core, we're gonna bring those hands up and we're just gonna lift the chest so we're getting that stretch here. Now I've deliberately taken that knee back a little bit further today. Now you can increase that stretch by twisting away from center towards the bent leg or we can just take that knee a little bit further back, which we've done today. Now we're going to let this knee come back, and we're going to do the same on the other side. So if that was uncomfortable, I'm going to just show you okay, how we can make it. Now we can either slide that knee further back, or when we lift that chest, we're going to breathe out. Good, we can actually just gently keeping those shoulders nice and relaxed. Good. I'm going to come here because that's good enough for me. Try not to arch the back, really push the hip of that leg with stretching forwards. And then we're going to bring it back. Good. And I'm going to get us to come into a sitting position to finish our, our cool down. So we can sit like this, you can sit like this. What I'm going to get us to do is just reach over that shoulder. Okay, we're going to just take a little stretch of those shoulders and then we're going to look towards the shoulder, take that hand, gently, gently draw that head so we're looking towards the hip. And then we're going to release and we're going to bring it down. We're going to do the same on the other side. So we're going to reach over that shoulder, gently, gently push that elbow towards the ceiling look towards that opposite shoulder and we're going to release now we're going to just take a little roll of those shoulders now we're going to just straighten out those legs in front of us good we're going to just draw that tummy button towards the spine we're going to take our spine stretch and then we're going to roll through that spine Breathe out. We're going to roll through that spine. You can take this as far as you feel. I'm having to really limit my movement here at the moment. Having injured my hamstring, 
my own fault, so don't feel any sympathy for me. And then we're going to bend those knees. We're going to see if we can bring ourselves onto our hands and knees. We're going to tuck those toes under and we're going to come into our roll up. So just with our head nice and relaxed, we're going to straighten the legs oh, as far as you feel comfortable and then we're going to roll through that spine. Okay, you've got a beautiful view of my knees. So I'm going to lift you up and we're going to take a nice breath in. We're going to breathe out. We're going to take a breath in. And we're going to breathe out. And then we're going to take one more breath in. Thank you very much. That was lovely, spending some quality time with you.